Minecraft is one wacky game, and there are so many wild and awesome things that you can do that barely anyone know about. So today, I'm going to be testing viral Minecraft facts you've never seen. Watch until the end, and your life will never be the same. All right, what new fact do we have up first? Ooh, all right, we're spawning in a baby zombie villager riding a chicken, one of the rarest mobs in the game, but not impossible. And we're chugging on a splash potion of weakness? Why? And feeding him a golden apple? Wait, is he trying to heal that baby zombie villager? Is that even possible on a chicken? Whoa! <laughs> Yo, what is that? That is the most cursed Minecraft mob I've ever seen. It's like half villager, half chicken. Bro. Is that actually real? No way Minecraft can do that. This is a real mob in the game that does spawn. Yes, it is incredibly rare, less than 0.1% chance, and it doesn't even have a spawn egg, but that doesn't mean it's impossible. I always assumed if you healed this baby zombie villager, the villager would just jump off the back of the chicken because it isn't coded into Minecraft. But maybe I was wrong, and I really hope so, because I want a pet villager riding a chicken. <laughs> So let's give it a go. We're going to grab our Splash Potion of Weakness and we need to chuck this down on our baby zombie villager. Boom. And then we need to feed him a golden apple. Three, two, one, go. And check it out, guys. The healing process has begun. This can take five to 15 minutes. So uh, I'll see you in a bit. No actual flipping way. What? <laughs> Yo, I actually genuinely did not believe this was going to work. I thought it was clickbait for sure. But here it is in the flesh, guys. My very own villager chicken mashed up pet. I don't understand. Why would I use a hopper to take the loot from a chest in the bastion? Just use your hands, mate. <laughs> Wait, why aren't the piglins attacking him? Okay, now we have a skeleton, splash potion of invisibility, and floating bow. Yeah, that is a classic. What's our next Minecraft fact here, guys? All right, got a furnace. Ah, yes, you can dry sponges in a furnace, and you can dry them in there. We have tested them before, and it is real. So first, I'm going to chuck on some golden armor so the piglins don't attack me, and I'm going to switch into survival mode. So at the moment, these guys are docile because I am wearing that golden armor. But if I go ahead and open this chest, uh, they get very mad and they start attacking me, even though I'm wearing that gold armor. Now I'm gonna switch back into creative here. And basically what I noticed is when that guy used a hopper to take the loot from the chest, the piglins didn't care whatsoever. And that's what I wanna see is real. So we're gonna switch back into survival mode here. We've got our piglin waiting nicely. So in theory, all I need to do is dig out the blocks underneath our chest here, place down our hopper like so, and that will start feeding the loot into this hopper. So if we grab these diamond boots before the falling, bang. Okay, he hasn't started hitting me yet. But maybe that's because I've just taken one item. Let's try and take all of the loot here, guys. Just absolutely everything. That is all the loot inside the chest, including five blocks of gold, which piglins hate when you steal. And this guy hasn't even taken a swing at me. He could not care less simply because I haven't opened the chest. Absolutely big brain. So apparently this video has the three new Minecraft facts for us to test. The first one here seems like some sort of command. Oh, that puts items on your head. We have tested this and it is a real, and you can put glass on your head to look like an astronaut. So what's not to love? All right, number two, we've got ourselves a furnace here and some wet sponge. Why? Okay, and then we're drying it out with coal. That's pretty normal. Wait, why did he put a bucket underneath the sponge? Bro, the coal is already doing all the work. You don't need the... Yo, it filled up with water. What? That's the most logical thing I've ever seen in Minecraft. <laughs> and now we're boating into the end. Why, man? Why? What? How is he not going through the end portal? No way. You can actually just swim inside end portal? So there is our end portal. Let's chuck down our boat here. Jump in this and... You've got to be kidding me. What? <laughs> this looks so stupid and I love it. You just wait for one of your friends to pass and they'll be like, hey, mate. And then they'll be like, wait, what? How are you doing that? <laughs> so uh, let's get out of here, guys. I just want to boat out of the end portal. Now I need to know about this furnace situation. So I want to see if it works with the lava bucket as well. Because in this case, if you use a lava bucket, it's going to empty the bucket. And then we just got the bucket there. That way you're not wasting any coal. If this works, it's a really useful hack to get your water back. And look at that. We got ourselves water straight out of the sponge. That is actually really smart Minecraft logic. What's the story behind the biggest block in Minecraft? What? A block that can easily enchant it. And for some reason, you can put it on your head? This will occur when you have a block with a texture in game that doesn't exist. I and the see. wiki says this block can't be obtained. But he was just um, holding it. <clears throat> ah, there is a way to get Weirdly it. enough, nice. it's the same texture as the missing texture in CSGO. Really? Have I been making CSGO content? Have I been making CSGO time? content? You Do you want to play Minecraft with me and be in videos? Then just click the join button below this video next to my profile to become an EY fan.
When you click join, you will unlock access to play Minecraft with me on my EY fan only server. On my server, you can be in videos or play Skyblock Survival Creative Mode or PvP with me. And you can join the server on any device, including phones, tablets, consoles, and computers. Plus, you will unlock secret videos and live streams that you won't see unless you join as an EY fan. You also get a shiny EY fan only badge next to your YouTube name when you leave comments and get all these rare EY stream emojis to use. But do you want even more? If you click join and scroll down, you can choose to be an EY mega fan. To get a shout out at the end of a video, talk with me on my VIP Discord and unlock the ability to watch my videos before they get released. So click the join button below this video to become an EY fan and play Minecraft with me. So basically, to see if this block is real, we have to break Minecraft. I'm sorry, Mojang. <laughs> And it's as easy as opening up chat and the command they gave us was slash give space A with the squiggle around the at symbol of P space grass space one space one and chuck and enter. Bam! What? What is this? This is an actual thing you can get inside of Minecraft. Bro, this is actually so cursed. It looks huge in my hand and I can chuck it down to the ground. Bro, what is that? It, I mean, it chucks down as if it's an entity, but it's a block. Can I place it down? What? When I place it, it's literally just grass. 21 Minecraft facts you probably didn't know. In 60 All seconds, right, you can heal iron golems by right clicking on them cap. with the iron ingot. The fact music disc 11 that. will play for exactly one minute in 11 seconds. You can fact. actually craft endersite with diorite and cobblestone. That's you can duplicate true. flowers with bone meal. Baby pandas really have a 0.1% chance to drop a slime ball fact. when they sneeze. Spiders will stop attacking you if you place yeah, torches around yourself. Really Foxes hard, will dude. sometimes <laughs> get stuck in the ground when trying to kill of a chicken. Course, Skeletons used to hold their bow like this back in the alpha and beta days of Minecraft. I the piglin that. brew drops the most amount of experience out of any non-boss huh, mob in Minecraft. I didn't know a piston that. can push a total of 12 blocks. Uh, Sheep yes. can eat grass through slabs. You can yeah, heal villagers by trading with them. You <laughs> Wait, can use a whoa, name tag on the wither. It takes 13 seconds to fall through one cobweb. Mob spawners used to only show a pig on the spawner in the early days of Minecraft. Ghasts can reactivate your nether portal. The Seriously, pig is the oldest bro, existing so passive awesome. mob in Minecraft. Pushing a cake with a piston will simply make it disappear. Oh, well, Mushrooms sad. give off a light level of one. There oh, are yes, over 70 fact. unique mobs in Minecraft. Holy flip. So let's go ahead, find a poor villager suspect for us to attack. Hello, Mr. Fisherman. As you can see, I've installed a mod. So in the top left, we can actually see the exact health of mobs. That way we can know if this is true or false. So we're going to go ahead, give him a whack. I'm so sorry, Mr. Villager. Wah bam! And now he is down to 12 health. But apparently trading with him will kill him back up once again. So what trades have we got? We got some uh, string here as well as some emeralds, which he has jacked up the prices because I attacked him. Well, that's okay. We got a ton of emeralds here. Let's give him some of those and get ourselves a bucket of cod. Check his health once again. All right, uh, we're staying here. The fisherman is still at 12 health. Do we need to trade more? I don't know. How much do you have to trade for his health to go back up? Or is this actually just clickbait? All right, so we'll trade for some string. We'll trade some emeralds there. All right, we're trading for all of these different things. And now he's up Graded. He's still only at 12 health here, guys. Oh, wait. Yo, hold up. Guys, look at that. He's got a potion of regeneration effect, and you can actually see his health is going up by one every couple of seconds. It actually worked. No way. Check it out. He is now at 16 health. So every trade you do, I'm assuming, will increase his hearts by one. I mean, that is a very expensive way to heal. But, but another brain fart. Gas might actually be useful in saving your life because apparently they can relight a nether portal for you. So here, Mr. Gas, hit me. Okay, seriously, bro, bro, I am literally right here. Are you blind? Okay, do I need to... Oh, okay, there it is. There it is. All right, so now he's shooting at us. Come on, we get him to hit this... Hit the portal. Bang! Ha! Bro, it actually works. So not only can a gas get you out of a pinch, but you can look like an absolute god while doing it. Ooh, all right. It seems like we're building something here. We've got two three by two glass walls. Now, what are we grabbing? We're putting some fence gates in between the two sides of the glass walls. Why though? Okay, now we've got pistons facing towards each other. What are we doing? Combining some sort of muted creature here? <laughs> We got some repeaters connected up to some redstone. We're joining this into the middle now. Wait, is this like some sort of machine? Guys, what does this do? I'm so confused. We got a pillager on one side and a villager on the other. And now, wait, what? Did he just combine the villager and the pillager and suddenly it doesn't have a weapon anymore? And it's friendly? It didn't even attack that villager. What? And he's in survival mode and it's not attacking him. Bro, hit him, hit him. Okay, and still nothing. 
He's totally peaceful. That's so cool. But we have these two glass walls that we need to have fence gates in between them. Then we've got pistons facing towards these fence gates on either side. And these are going to push our villager and pillager together. I'm assuming they get joined at the fence gate area. I don't really understand the logics of this, guys. But I want to see it in motion. Actually, you know what? Part of me feels like this is a little sus because there aren't very many machines like this in Minecraft. But I still think it's worth a shot. So we're going to connect this up with the repeaters just like so. All the way up. Um, the more I see this, the more I think this is going to be clickbait. But I'm just so excited, guys, that this could be a thing. All right, we've got a villager on one side, a pillager on the other. Let's go ahead and put down our lever in three, two, one, bang. Okay, yeah, that, that didn't work. This guy clickbaited us. And if this isn't a mod, that means we should still be able to get one. And every clickbaiter's favorite weapon is a bunch of commands. Basically, they hit a command block underneath that lever with this command, which summons in a pillager without any items in his hand. And that is what makes him peaceful. He's not going to attack any players or any villagers. However, there is actually a way you can get this in survival without any commands whatsoever. And it's not with some wacky machine. All you actually need is a boat and grab a pillager spawn egg. And we can chuck him inside our boat. We're going to trap him inside the boat. There we go. Now all you have to do is switch into survival and jump into that boat with him. And he's going to try and shoot you. But he actually won't be able to. He'll keep shooting arrows into the boat. It's some weird glitch. And eventually, if you wait long enough, that boat is going to break and you'll have yourself your very own pet pillager. Did you know that snowballs, eggs, and ender pearls have the exactly same Wait, range? Wait, what? So all that I makes need to do is no throw sense. my snowball egg, uh -huh. make sure it lands, and then make sure I need to stay there, throw Bro, my ender pearl. I'm never going to miss an ender you pearl it ever land again. Every single time. That's genius. Well, it's genius unless it doesn't work, because otherwise it will most definitely kill you. So let's give it a go. Apparently, if we throw a snowball or an egg, it's all going to have the same range. So you can see that snowball just lands on the end island there. So in theory, if I throw an end pearl, I should survive. And we'll try an egg as well. And boom, yeah. See, that seems to land the same area, but the real test here is if it works uh, in survival mode. So let's switch it to survival. Now with our end pearl, we're probably going to die. I can feel it. Three, two, one, bam. Here we go. And any moment now. Oh. This is literally the exact same spot that the snowball landed. No way! It actually works! I am absolutely miserable with guessing my end pearl area. So definitely, if you're going to use end pearls, just bring around a snowball with you or an egg. And that way, you're never going to miss another shot again. And oh, flip. Oh, flip. All right. Well, the enderman has decided it's the end of the video. So I'll see you in the next one. Until then, anyways, you're out. Bye!